How many bars? Three. Three bars. That's awesome. Welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the conversion kit and using the Ego batteries with the front hub motor to take this bike to another level. This is a nice little bike that I had that was uh, kind of passed down to us and I took this bike and added the front hub motor using the battery that I already have with the Ego system and now it's an amazing bike to go riding along the river and really pedal only when you want to. You can go slow and steady or you can go really fast. The best part is that we're gonna use the Ego batteries and I have a couple of them. I use them to mow the lawn. I use them for blowing leaves or yard work. And these are great batteries that could be used to power your bike. Okay, this is the first bike that I converted to electric and this is a front hub. This is the motor right here. This is the front hub. I bought the e-bikeling from, I believe, eBay or Amazon or something like that. Um, and this is really good. It's really fast. And I'll tell you a little bit about why I chose to go with the front one. Well, the front hub, it brings all the weight to the front. And it is, it's a little bit awkward at first because the front is a bit heavy to drive. However, you get used to it pretty quickly and it's actually pretty good. But the reason why I got it is because I hook up this chariot, my daughter's chariot, to the back of the bike and it distributes the weight a little better. I was worried that I'll start pulling wheelies and the front will come off the ground if I uh, have the rear wheel. So I got the front wheel, I wanted to try it out because I have uh, the rear wheel on the other one and I'll show you that one as well. Um, but what's really cool is that these batteries right here, the Ego batteries, 56 volts, they work really well with the controller for the motor. Um, and this is a 48 volt motor. That's the only thing that you gotta look out for is you wanna get a 48 volt motor um, specifically for the controller. This is a 48 volt um, controller right here. This is 36 or 48 volt, but this is, um, it is rated for 48 volts. And another very important thing is to get these kind of connectors. And I'll put that on the screen right now. These connectors are very important because when you put the battery on right here, it will spark and it will kind of, it could potentially damage the terminals on the battery. So it's very important to get these connectors and you will see them on both of my bikes in different places. Um, this bag just kind of came with the bike when I first kind of inherited this bike. So I just left the bag as is. Um, this right here we 3D printed at Lava Labs um, or the other one, I don't remember, but you can buy these on eBay now, pretty cheap. You can just get these on eBay. And I got this uh, rack right here and this is what holds the battery. And I've got the Velcro right here, which is amazing. I tried a bunch of different ways to do it. And the Velcro is by far my favorite to hold the battery in place. I zip tied it to here and this thing is bolted down right there. I just screwed in there and then I threaded it through. Very simple and easy um, to do just like this in this setup. And I love how it works. The batteries never wanted to escape, never wanted to jump out or anything. So this is a really good uh, way to do it. So yeah, and I opted in for the very simple controller here where in retrospect, I probably should have got the speedometer. I really like the speedometer in the other one. So if you're buying this, you might want to get the upgraded version of this, which is nice. This is the throttle right here. And I really like this thr throttle. It's really nice. I did not put the assist down there because it comes with a pedal assist. I don't really care for it too much. I don't really care for the pedal assist. I like to have the throttle right here kind of do all the work. Okay, so the battery is pretty simple. It slides into this bracket just like this. And once again, if you don't have those yellow connectors I just showed you, it would spark. So you gotta make sure to get that yellow connector. And then I go crisscross just like this. 
just like that and it gives me really good and now the battery's not going anywhere then i connect then i connect this connector and just set everything down sorry about the pollen there's so much pollen right now um yeah let me back it up right here let me just show you so you turn it on and you have three power modes one two and three i usually just go straight for three and now let me show you okay so now if i press There it is. So if you are watching this video and you're thinking of front wheel hub, front wheel drive on your e-bike, definitely here's, here's a picture of the entire bike. This is the correct orientation. And unless I'm wrong, please correct me in the video, but this has been way more sturdy, way better. Uh, it does not come off. The last one basically tore off completely while my brother was riding. I'm glad he's okay, everything is fine. So when you're doing this, make sure not to file down any, anything here at all. Okay, so I have the bike turned around and I thought I'd go ahead and show you exactly how to mount this front hub torque arm because I see all these videos and I do believe this is the correct way and I would love for somebody to let me know if this is not because I actually did break the fork, the, the one that was on here before because I filed this down a little bit for a better fit and there's no need to do that. And this part broke off, this entire part broke off. And luckily my brother is okay. He was riding the bike, but now this is what I believe is the right way of putting it on. You go just like this, and this is in front like this. So if you zoom out, this is the bike. However, let's flip the bike and really take a look at what's going on here. Okay, so let's take a closer look at what's happening. So the wheel is gonna wanna turn this way, okay? So as the wheel is turning this way, when you're going forward, the hub, the motor hub, this portion, is going to turn the up, it's gonna wanna torque the opposite way. It's gonna wanna torque this way. This is why I believe it's crucial to put this guy on this side, to put this, torque arm on this side so if you can go ahead and get the torque arm without this piece so it's one solid torque arm one solid piece but if you can't get that and you get the kit just like I did make sure to go ahead and tighten this bolt and this tie as much as you possibly can okay I hope that helps um, this is a pretty nice fork aftermarket fork and this is crucial for front wheel drive because you want to have these dialed in really good because a lot of weight is up front here. So this weight needs to be counterbalanced with these two uh, dials here. So once you dial those in, it's a wonderful ride. You can go really fast and comfortable. It's really nice. Okay, so that's the front wheel. goes back.
How is that? Actually, the ride is so much better with the, with the tighter blade. fork. Oh, yeah, so yeah. much better. Okay, so let's sum things up. Am I happy with the front wheel hub? Am I happy with this uh, conversion uh, kit? The answer is absolutely. I am super happy with this conversion kit. We've been going on bike rides almost daily. As soon as spring came about, and we actually started going last year, even when it got colder, we're bundling up and going for rides even when it was colder. But it is so much fun to go on these bike rides, especially when it gets warmer outside and you don't want to sweat as much. You've got your thumb to just, it's so nice. You just push it and it just, you just go which is amazing. Now, if you wanna exercise, absolutely, you can still pedal. You can get a decent exercise in and use it only when you need to. However, if you wanna go further, you wanna go by the river, you wanna have a lot of fun biking, it's amazing. There really isn't too many downsides. Now, the front hub, like I said, it does add weight to the front, so you wanna tune in your suspension fork to be a bit stiffer, to be able to accommodate uh, the ride. But once I got it just right, it's it's amazing. And the front wheel hub, it's different from the rear wheel hub. It actually pulls you. It feels kind of like, it feels kind of amazing. The pushing feeling is very familiar to motorcycle riders because it's rear wheel and it feels right. It feels pretty cool. But the front wheel hub feels a little different and it's, I'd say it's absolutely amazing if you're pulling uh, a kid behind you or if you're pulling some sort of weight behind you, it balances things out. You've got weight in the back, weight in the front. You're not gonna pull a wheelie. Everything is super sturdy and solid. The biggest thing I would suggest is get your torque arm to be one piece and make sure to put it in the right configuration and use uh, sturdier hose clamps or some other way to really secure it on there because the way that it comes with the kit, it's got that pivot point, as I explained in the video, that pivot point is not ideal. So definitely, if you do have it, tighten it as much as possible and test it out before you attach a chariot with your kit in it. Absolutely, I tested it like a thousand times, tried so many different things. I put weight in there, I went up and down the hill as fast as possible, slowed down, and I looked and, 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 and made sure that it's not eating away into the fork that eventually will just break off. Everything is exactly like it was. The torque arm is doing its job. With that said, I absolutely love the bike. I think it's amazing now. It's something I look forward to. And using the Ego batteries is amazing because I have the batteries already. I use them only to cut the lawn, to blow the leaves, but now I use them way more. And I usually try to keep it, I don't you know, charge it all the way up or all the way down. I'll make a separate video on how to treat those batteries, but love the batteries, they're really great. And now with those batteries, the bike is something else. It's absolutely amazing. Um, okay, all right, well, that's all I've got for you. Um, next week, we'll see if time, time allows, but I'm gonna make a video specifically on the rear wheel hub. And I made some modifications to the rear wheel a little bit different than the front wheel. Um, I do have a, a speedometer on there and it feels completely different. It's a different bike, different experience. So tune in for that video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so because I will post that video hopefully next week. And uh, yeah, we should see some more cool videos coming up. So thank you so much. Thank you so much to the new subscribers. I, I appreciate you guys, to the people that have been here. Good to see you and have a wonderful day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.